Okay, so the first job we're going to do is just set up the, the router table, made sure that the cutter that I'm going to be using is at the right height, and then I measure the diameter just to confirm that the router spindle speed is not too fast, because obviously that's quite a large bit, and we don't want it chatting around too quickly. The next job is just to rip down a few bits of scrap, just so I can use them as sacrificial fence parts. Double sided sticky tape is the name of the game. I don't know where I put it. We had it there, and there, and at that point. That just tells me you know, not to stick the tape. Right. I'm going to be really, normally, I'm like little, little teeny weeny bits of double stick tape because it is good stuff. You end up like spending far, far longer getting the stuff off. However, I don't want this moving at all, not even a little bit. Um, so I'm going to be extra paranoid about the fact that it, whether it's going to stick or not. So more the merrier with this one. Press it down, good. Somebody out there is probably going to go, well, you can uh, you can get clamps that drill, drill in. Yeah, you can. You absolutely can. You're right. Um, I've got some. Little thingy there, put a hole in that, it's really clampy, blah blah blah. That's fine. I've only got two, but I'm gonna need four for this. And you might not have them. Okay, got my zero clearance. And I just got past my material, so I'll run a quick test. Fingers crossed, then we can run all this molding. It's not a huge amount to do, it's just got to be right. Okay, so I've run my run my test piece, um, and I'm happy with the way that's that's come out um, in terms of the, the depth and the height, etc., etc. Um, what I'm going to do now is I've backed off the the cheeks ever so slightly, as you can probably see there. That just helps with extraction. Um, if I was cross cutting them, then I'd leave that in place, sacrifice them the um, not quite so good um, dust extraction, and preference for for better quality cut. But because I'm rip cutting, um, I'm not going to bother. So that's that. My fence is set because I want to do this in several passes, not just in one go. I'm going to put this batten, this clamping batten, across the back of the router table where the fence is, then I can bring the fence forward and I know I'm always going to go back to where I want it to be. That's that set. The next thing I've got to do is with my thickness of material, I want to set up, obviously I've got to clear the infeed side of the ground, but I'm also going to set up a featherboard on the side to, uh, to keep it against. Yeah, quite a nice mould in that. Yeah, but what I've got to do now is can you see this 45 here and this 45 here? Basically, it's created two 90 degree corners. So I've got to take this bit here off and that bit there off so that that will sit forward. And that'll be like the top of the the bookcase or whatever, yeah, the furniture, whatever it is you're making. So there's my there's my mould like that or the profile. That's how it's going to sit. Oh, I might sit that way up. You know, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, but it basically it's got to it's got to tilt out, and that's the bit it sits on. Okay, so quick update on uh, what you've just seen. The job's now all done, dusted, finished, and, and all the rest of it. Um, but you saw me cut the, the bevels outwards. Um, what I actually did, I went back and cut them inwards 
the other way. Um, basically because this needed to, if this is the front of the, the unit, um, this needed to sit on the front of the, uh, the unit up against the ceiling rather than on top of it like that. Um, so I recut the bevels, which is just like, you know, whoop de doo um, Basically because it was going right up against the ceiling and there wasn't anywhere near enough room to, or any possible way of getting it um, fixed. Um, I also stained it to, to match. Just, I find you get a much more even coat and you don't end up with the danger of getting the stain all over the rest of the work as well. Because you, if you double stain it, you're laying it with blotchy parts and it all just doesn't look right. Yeah, let's go and see the finished item.